kids, welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wildlife Crystal. I'm your host, Wildlife Crystal, a wildlife specialist. As you know, on this show, Wildlife Crystal, we are going to be learning fun facts about one animal and their environment every episode. I'm here with my very special co-host, the one and only Kaya the Koala. Hi guys, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone had a relaxing night. I did. I watched a great movie about animals. Oh yeah? What did you watch? I watched an animated movie called Madagascar. It was so cute and funny. I want to talk about one of the characters from the movie. I didn't know that much about this particular animal, and I'm curious to learn more fun facts. That's great, Kaya. If you ever see a movie about animals or have made a connection with a certain animal on TV, it's the best idea to keep researching and find out more. The more you know and care about animals, the more likely you will be to protect them. Also, sometimes movies might not have all the facts right. Remember, knowledge is power, and learning about animals is so fun. Okay, what was the animal that you would like to learn about? The animal is called a lemur. <laughs> the lemur! <laughs> One of my favorite animals. I have so many fun facts about lemurs. First, did you know that Madagascar is the only place in the whole world where lemurs can be found naturally? Madagascar is located on the east coast of Africa. Madagascar is the fourth largest island in the world and the only habitat for all wild lemurs in the world. Madagascar is classified as one of the world's most important biodiverse hotspots. Biodiversity means there are many different species of animals, plants, and ecosystems all in one place. Everything is interconnected, and every plant and animal rely on each other in natural balance. Unfortunately, humans are not living in harmony with the plants and animals in Madagascar and are throwing the balance off, but I'll get more into that later. Madagascar is such a special place because there is such a large number of animals that are found only there and nowhere else in the whole world. Wow, I had no idea. Are lemurs monkeys? That's a great question. It's an easy mistake to think lemurs are monkeys. They do have many things in common, like they are both very smart and they both have hands like human hands. Both belong to the primate order which is made up of monkeys, persimmons, and apes. Lemurs are persimmons, which literally means before monkeys. Interesting! Tell us more! Well, in lemur society, the females rule. Lemurs live in groups called troops. These communities have anywhere from 3 to 30 members in them. At the center of lemur society is a female leader who directs the whole group. Lemur females show signs of dominance by marking their territories within the group, kicking males out of sleeping spots, and will show real aggression. The females are also in charge of taking care of all the babies. I was just going to ask about lemur babies. They are the cutest. Lemur babies are called pups. And at the time of birth, a pup weighs less than a pound. That's about the weight of a cup of water. When lemurs are first born, they can open their eyes and cling, allowing them to hold tight to their moms. Pups generally cling to their mother's bellies for about three to four weeks of life, and then they ride on their back for about three or four months. As the baby lemurs grow up, the females will stay in the troop they were born into, and the males migrate to other groups. What do lemurs eat? Wait. Let me guess. They are herbivores, which means they eat a diet of only plants. Go plant power! <laughs> you are exactly right. Most species of lemurs are herbivores and feed on leaves, fruit, flowers, tree bark, and sap. Lemurs are known for being very picky about what they eat, with most of their diet coming from few tree species. Tell us another fun fact about lemurs. Did you know that lemurs are key seed dispensers in Madagascar? 
which means they help plants reproduce by carrying seeds in their stomach after eating fruit and then depositing the seeds into new areas through their poop. Also, while lemurs are eating their plants and flowers, they spread the seeds and the pollen that gets in their fur wherever they go. Certain plants in Madagascar are fully dependent on a single lemur species to spread their seeds. These facts make lemurs so important to maintaining healthy forests. Just as healthy forests are important to providing lemurs with food. Nature has a perfect balance. Wow, it sure does. Okay, tell us one more fun fact. All right. Although lemurs are great tree climbers, some species of lemurs, like the ring-tailed lemur, spends a lot of their time on the ground looking for food. When lemurs travel over the ground, they keep their black and white striped tails in the air to make sure everyone in the group is in sight and stays together. How cute and smart is that? Aside from using visual cues for communicating, the ring-tailed lemurs also communicate using sounds and scent. Not only do lemurs mark their territories with scent, the male lemurs will also have stink fights. That basically means whoever's the smelliest wins. What a funny way to fight. I can't relate. I smell like roses most of the time. Please tell me these interesting primates are not under threat. Unfortunately, I can't. There are at least 110 lemur species known in the world, and almost all of them face risk of extinction. Extinction means the dying out or disappearance of a species from the earth forever. That is unbelievably sad. And the biggest threat to all lemurs is us humans. We must remember there are many people who live on Madagascar with these animals, and they are very poor. Madagascar is actually one of the poorest countries for humans. These humans need money, so they cut down all of the lemurs' homes for wood or to make more space for farms. These people also hunt the lemurs for food or trap them to sell as pets. One way to help lemurs and the people of Madagascar is with ecotourism. Ecotourism means that people visit a certain place to see the animals and nature. If more people visit Madagascar to see the lemurs, then the people who live there will stop killing them because lemurs will be worth more money alive. If you can't go to Madagascar, then it's all about education. Making lots of interest in lemurs shows the people of Madagascar again how important these animals are. Tell your family and all of your friends fun facts about lemurs and spread the word about how great they are and how necessary they are to the ecosystem in which they live. It is up to us, the future generation, to make sure that these lemurs have a place to live. Let's always work together to make sure that animals and humans live in harmony. Let's always be kind and respectful to every creature on this planet. And now it's question time. Ba, ba, ba. Kaya, are you as excited as I am to put the knowledge we learned today to the test? I sure am. True or false? Lemurs can only be found naturally in Madagascar and nowhere else in the whole world. The correct answer is true. There are about 110 species of lemurs in the world, and they are all from Madagascar Island. Who are the leaders in a lemur society? Is it A, the male lemurs, B, the baby lemurs, C, the female lemurs, or D, none of the above? The correct answer is C. The female lemurs are in charge of each troop. What is a baby lemur called? Is it A, a cub? B, a kitten? C, a pup? Or D, a calf? The correct answer is C, a pup. You guys did great. Kaya and I have to go, but we will be learning fun facts about another animal next week. See you next time on Wildlife Crystal. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Toodles, love ya, miss ya, bye.